All right, guys, Swarly here, and in today's video, we have a Black Hearts Alliance members compilation. So, I'm gonna be showing off a few of my Alliance members. So, first up, we have Luffy. All right, so I pretty much just told him, like, hey, everybody that wants to be in the, in the compilation video, uh, send me a 7,000 point or above match. Uh, get MVP so had a lot of people send me matches so there will be a part two so Luffy running the big mom and of course gonna go bully the blackbeard and the blackbeard tried to try to punch her but obviously that's not gonna work all right so Luchi came in, took the kill, but it's quite all right. And yeah, um, Big Mom actually does pretty well against Katakuri, even though he uh, he has a uh, type advantage on her. Uh, he can't heal with his uh, with his skill too, because he'll get like one or two hits on her at most, then he gets shot. So that, that's pretty good. Um, his, his best chance is to get a perfect dodge on her than try to use his skill too. Alright, swinging away with the team boost, gonna be able to take out the Shanks and the Chopper fairly easy. Oh, and the Katakuri dodge, so I mean that was a, that was GG right there. Yeah, um, whenever Big Mom's charging that, just try to, try to wait till she actually lets go of the, the skill. Because, uh, yeah, if you dodge too soon, you're going to take a fully charged uh, skill too. Alright, so he jumped down to... Since the other Big Mom was up there, it would have been, it would have been hard um, to try and take that flag from her. Alright, so without the the skill 1 active, the Blackbeard was able to uh, get a fatal hit on Big Mom. Alright, and he's just gonna go in with the last. That would be 20 seconds with uh, Luchi. Oh, connections looking all kind of funny right now. Alright, and yeah, they just need to guard. And... Alright, 7,133. Alright, so shout out to Luffy for providing the footage. And three kills, five captures. Alright, and on to Faisal. Alright, and he is running the new Katakuri. Alright, so I'm surprised the Blackbeard didn't want to just stay there since uh, norm most of the time Blackbeards want to be able to use their skill one across the, across the water. Alright, so fully charged. Yeah, this Marco's going to want to use his, uh, his skill two, so you just need to watch out for that since... Katakuri can get hit by all the hits if he's not careful. Alright, and that Marco's... Marco's dead. Alright, so his team was getting bullied over there. And yeah, you couldn't even see the Snake Man punch through the... The Magellan Venom Demon, so that was pretty funny. Alright, so was able to kill the Snake Man with the skill 2. 
and let's see if he can get the Magellan off the flag so he can capture it. So yeah, against Magellan, you need to watch out. Um, using your skill 2 is going to give him his uh, Venom Demon back, like, almost instantly. All right, and since that, like, scooted him back since the Marco, uh, well, since he was hitting the uh, Lucci, it scooted him back, then the Marco got right behind him, so he was able to actually end up getting both of them. All right, so getting double teamed over here. So we'll see how this plays out. All right, dodged into it, then used his skill that has Nullify Stagger to, to hit the Snake Man. All right, was able to get the Marco off the flag. All right, so... You're actually going to see something pretty funny. Just imagine being this Marco and how mad you would be if this happened to you. And just miss all three of those. All three of those hits. Oh, you know he's mad. Alright, so Blackbeard's coming. Just going to hit him with a skill one. And he called out the Blackbeard pool. Very nice. All right, so shout out to Faisal for the Katakuri gameplay. All right, he's going to get MVP. And let's see what kills and captures he got. All right, three kills, one capture. All right, next is Alabasta. And he's going to be using the Attacker Smoker. Which, which this character you never really see anymore. Like, he, well, even when he came out, you didn't really even see him. Like, I don't know, I, I think he's, I think he's pretty good. I almost have mine six star. All right, so he... He was able to bait out the, um, the law skill to the counter. And yep, since uh, you're vulnerable after you pull the flag, he was able to just scoop him up and kill him. Yeah, with, with Smoker, you'd want to um, use skill 1 cooldown medals. Because his, his skill one is just crazy good. And yeah, that, that, I feel like that should have been a perfect dodge on the, the law skill one, but... Oh well. And he's going to be able to take out the law. And he hit him at the right time with the... With the Tashigi. Cause there, there's a moment after you, like, before he shocks, before he lets out the shock, and, uh, that you can actually hit him. And that was super cool, because, uh, even if you get hit, Tashiki still goes out there and, and attacks, so. Even though he got, uh, King Cobra, his Tashiki is still going out there, and he killed the Snake Man, so that was pretty neat. You can tell all these reds never fought a smoker before. Okay, and, and as a law main, that that hurt me to, to watch. Just the run up counter, like who does that? Fifty seconds. All right, so gonna go down to the uh, stolen heart. Uh, damage that hits you every six seconds. Right. Was able to snipe with the uh, Usopp. Yeah. Alabasta is so cool running two characters you like never see. 
And just gonna place down the, the little mines. And they just need to hold down these bottom flags and they are good. Alright, 74, 54. Alright, so shout out to Alabasta for using these cool characters. MVP. And I'm pretty sure he got quite a few kills. Six kills. Pretty neat. Alright, next is Fatty. And he's going to be using uh, Fujitora. Which on, on this map, Fujitora is actually super, super annoying. You will watch out for the him going underneath the bridge and casting a meteor. Which also, uh, I'm not sure if y'all know, but when the meteor hits on top of the bridge, it actually hits underneath it too. So if, you're hap if you happen to be fighting underneath the bridge, you know, be careful. One. Hit him, but I don't know, it's, it's weird sometimes they don't. Like, you can see that they got inflicted with the. Uh, with uh, gravity. So, the Shank should have uh, kept on pulling his let uh, tutorial. And like, how, I don't know, for some reason whenever I see Fuji Torres, they always try to cast their meteor like as soon as they can, but he's holding on to it, so it's really Alright, so they were able to clear in the middle. But unfortunately, he's gonna mash out that counter. <laughs> so, Red Sabo. Yeah, Red, Red Sabo is a super, super good unit. Top 5, in my opinion. So, yeah, if you pull the flag, you're vulnerable for a little bit when you can't do anything. And let him have it with the, with the skill too. Alright, so he was smart, he kept going forward instead of just trying to pull up the, the middle flag. Now assuming he doesn't have I any mean, attackers don't have that good of uh, capture speed. So and, you know getting trying to get the most out of it. Let's go down. They got three, they got three flags. So if his team, if his teammates can hold it, and threw out there, threw that out there just in case. Right, 75, 77. All right, shout out to Fatty for providing the Fuji gameplay. And six kills, pretty nice. All right, next we have Choppy. Like, pretty much the only Ivankov player you're ever going to see in an SS League. And uh, it was like, the other day we were... We were jumping into a league together, so I ended up fighting his uh, choppy in front. I don't know why I tried to manage with the uh, without playing just over the wall. I don't know, his his Ivanka is just he doesn't die. And once he gets down the I think it's below 30% health, he gets 50% uh, uh, dodge cooldown reduction. Yeah. He's dodging every like couple seconds. Yeah, 
Yeah. 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 Alright, so uh, the enemies are pushing pretty hard right now. He's gonna die. Alright, so they're gonna come out with Ace. This man's crazy running double green, but running double green runner. He does have to be And the Caesar hit the counter. And yeah. That's what Lightyear does to the green. One minute left. Unfortunately, they did lose middle. He's doing a good job pushing right now. Dashed into the snake fans, stagger zone for the invincibility. That's pretty, pretty cool. A big <laughs> The Rayleigh partner went and took the, took the enemy's second flag and then they were able to capture middle. So good job to them. Shout out to Choppy for... He, he's the best of Vankov player, without a doubt. Alright, 4 kills, 75, 58. Pretty nice. Alright, next we have Juice. He's going to be running um, Snake Man and Rayleigh. Alright, so I always go for mid when I'm when I'm the runner, so... And uh, Green Lucci, his basic attack's uh, really good, so you can get rushed down pretty easily by that if you're not careful. But the Nullify Stagger on the King Cobra, going to be able to take out that Lucci, but the Big Mom going to come out of nowhere and take out his Snake Man. All right, so on to the Rayleigh, and he's going to start putting in some work now. All right, so was able to perfect dodge that law skill one. Yeah, and uh, Rayleigh against Big Mom, if she doesn't have the lightning, it's it's too easy. Alright, so gonna be able to take out that other Rayleigh. Alright, so he's trying to charge the middle flag a little bit before he moves forward. And he almost got his team boost ready. Alright, and he's gonna be able to one shot the Katakuri and the the LOL with the with the team boost skill too. And you line that up perfectly. Oh, and yeah. Was able to perfect dodge the one hit the Sabo was able to get off. Then killed him with the skill one. Yeah, I feel like if he was a little closer to the Lucci, he would have got that perfect dodge off against that skill.
All right, so he's fighting the other Rayleigh. And they both try to predict an attack. All right, and right here. Nice. Was able to clear the clear the flag with the help of the Kuma. And he will be able to capture the flag right at the end. All right, so shout out to Juice for that awesome really gameplay. A lot of perfect dodges. All right, nine kills. That's crazy. All right, and for the last one, we got Chimera. He's going to be going Magellan. All right, so gonna, he's going to grab the first flag since he's the defender. And he likes to throw the uh, skill two across the water. And actually, it actually goes like perfectly on top of the middle flag, like from that distance. So that's pretty cool. And I am always surprised by the range of that skill. Like, dude, he was nowhere near that Kizaru and he still got him. All right, so that setup right there, um, you place the skill two pretty much on top of them when they, um, when they get up, and so it pretty much forces them to dodge. That or you're they're gonna get hit by the poison. All right, so his team's down on flags right now. Alright, so Venom Demon push the Usopp out of the out of the flag. Alright, and he's using the basic attacks to get him over there faster since uh the Venom Demon the Venom Demon gives him a speed debuff. And he's just gonna beat down the Kizaru, get a good perfect dodge. And yeah, you see how the Kizaru got hit by the smoke. So yeah, you need to pretty much perfect dodge out of that or you're going to get poisoned. Yeah, and him and the Snake Man are doing a good job pushing on this flag. They should be able to, should be able to clear out this Snake Man, especially with Team Boost. Yeah, the poison's just going to get him. All right, and cap the flag. All right, 40 seconds left, and he's already at 6,500. And that Luffy dodged right into that. All right, so 20 seconds, they got three flags. Alright, so they just need a guard middle, and middle got, like, barely any gauge on there. But they're going to be able to hold it down. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Ooh, 9,400. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, shout out to all my Blackheart members that participated in this compilation. And I will see you all next time for part two.